full compression. Feel it. You're in control of getting the full compression. Squat down to the floor. We are certainly a lucky team because, as you said, a lot of the teams, they do not, they're not able to get on the water as soon as we are, especially coming out of wintertime. We have fantastic weather. It's really nice having this warm weather. Um, I know a lot of schools up north are just now getting on the water because the ice is breaking and we're like, ice! <laughs> That's crazy. Longhorn Invitational has some great competitors for us. Um, it's really going to show us how well we can do against some of the big schools, but it's going to be really interesting to challenge ourselves against these more competitive and higher level teams and see can our fitness, you know, does our fitness show and does our technique show and does our work in the weight room really show itself on the water. So the Longhorn Invitational is an early season, great opportunity to go up head to head, see where our fitness and our training have brought us and how that can launch us into the meat of our season. I'm really looking forward to the fact that this is our first like 2K race. We haven't done one, a, like a real sprint piece like this. I mean the Heart of Texas was only a 1K, so and that was hard enough, and so you have to double the length and go just as fast. So that's really exciting. Keep the drive solid all the way into the tap downs. After the tap down, hands out. With the Longhorn Invitational, it's the novice squad's first chance to go head to head with their Big 12 rivals over the 2,000 meter distance. The 2,000 meter distance is our NCAA or Olympic distance. It is the equivalent of the mile in track. So it's an endurance race, but it's also a sprint. And because rowing's a full body motion, it really taxes every system. Strength, power, explosiveness, and very high-end cardio. Sit up, arms out, yeah, yes, come on. One of the best things about the Longhorn Invitational, um, it being our first 2K race against other teams, um, and it's coming off a of spring break practice, you know, really hard. We've been working really hard this week to get ready for our 2K races. Um, we also have a lot of races during the Longhorn Invite, so you get a, a lot of experience for that 2K racing once we start traveling and getting into our uh, championship season, and so we all were really looking forward to seeing our work, hard work pay off. I'm also really excited about all the um, schools we have coming down. They grew up knowing all about Texas, all about our Big 12 rivals, they're ready. Being a part of the rowing team, you really get to see the fullness of the school spirit. Just the fact that it's Texas in general, I think is such an amazing thing. Um, I mean, on winter break when I'm running through the streets, I get people honking and throwing up their horns, and it's just, it's something that no other school in the States has, and it's just a great to be, to go to a school that's identified worldwide. That's one of the best parts about rowing and I like to see with these young people. There are people from Canada and New Zealand and England and all over the world who are here with young women who grew up in Texas, came here, started to row, and now they're all on the same cohesive team in some of the same boats. And I think that's wonderful. It's a great melting pot here at the University of Texas internationally and with Texas kids. I mean, it's incredible every day to say that you're a Longhorn.